Just doing a late night jam here. Uh, one of the last packages for the day. <clears throat> Came all the way from New York. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> Whether or not this device is encrypted can be very easily verified by simply plugging it in to one of the channels here and having a look at what the first sector appears like. Right. That might be interesting. So by plugging in the drive, I get nothing, I get uh, no spinning. The drive is just acting like it's not plugged in, completely silent. So what does that tell us, guys? That tells us that the PCB on the drive is blown out, most likely. We're gonna do some troubleshooting here for the PCB. And for that, I'll need a T8 screwdriver and uh, just do it here because the lightning is nice and you guys will be able to see what I do set it right there um, and I'll need a multimeter mainly uh, for ability to test continuity on the device. That's the easiest way to find out where the short is. So when the drive doesn't spin, usually it means that the enclosure went uh, through some sort of power surge, either a wrong power supply was plugged in, or there was no surge protector and there was just a power surge. If the drive came out of the, uh, um, if this was an internal drive, let's say, then there's a good chance that the power supply went and took the drive along for a ride with it. So this is what the board appears like. And um, what do we want to find out is whether or not it has any short, shorts uh, in the area where the power connector is. So the power connector is right here, and the first uh, components that we see around here are just a couple of uh, resistors that should be zero resistance, and a couple of diodes. So the first thing that we're gonna do is test the diodes on it, because these are the most commonly failing pieces on PCBs. So quick test for a diode, when it's shorted out and you touch the uh, both ends of it with the uh, uh, probe, with, th with those two probes, uh, if it's shorted out, it's gonna make this sound. That beep sound, and I'm gonna show you what the readings would be for the, for the short. Okay, we're gonna have zero continuity, and that will indicate that there is a short. Right here, this, Diode D3 is good. What about D4? Oh, look at that. 0 0.003. And that is our victim. Because of that diode, the drive doesn't spin. So let's remove it and see what that will give us. I'm gonna set the camera somewhere around here. So this is the area that we're gonna be working with. 
right here. Just so you guys can see it better, I'll set this guy right here and um, See, we get a reading up here. We're not getting a reading. So we're gonna take that diode right out and we're just gonna leave it out. That's as simple as that. So once the diode is pulled, what is the next step? And check the pads with the same settings and everything. See, no more short. Now. I'm not even gonna clean this up, it's gonna be fine on the song like that. Here you see um, channel number two, hit that button. This here indicates that it's busy and it should switch any moment, hopefully. Yeah, there, it switched to uh, these DRD and DSC. The drive, if I try to lift it, I feel that it's spinning up. I can't. It's the running, uh, the, the uh, laminar flow is running, so I can't really do much else. To make it more apparent, but in here, I'm gonna run a common utility for disk scanning tool. And uh, there is, sorry, uh, still new camera. Go. There is the uh, drive details, and uh, let's see how this unit performs if we just set it on a simple read test. Tests. Sorry. Um, logic scan test. And right, we're gonna go from sector zero. Voila. 106 to 105 megabytes per second. Read speed, occasional yellow sector, that means there is a delay, but it's not a bad sector even. Let's see uh, if we go into user sector viewer, that's a uh, similar function to sector edit, and uh, we can see that the drive is actually not in encrypted. You see it's right there. So this was fun, uh, quick case, not too much hustle and um, perfect recovery. I'm certain of it. Once the imaging is done, it's gonna be everything that the client needed. Not every single case is this easy. Not every single case is this quick. So this is just one of the things that has to be checked. What's the saying? Don't, don't fix it if it's not broken. Well, this, uh, this PCB wasn't all that broken and determining what was wrong with it was fairly easy and I honestly enjoyed it.
And um, for those of you who have problems with uh, drives, especially if they don't spin, this is the first thing you need to get. Like just get a hold of, maybe your friend has a multimeter with a continuity test on it. Get a hold of that stuff and just look around the area where the um, uh, power connector goes in because most likely you're going to find some diodes in there and the easiest way to spot diodes is to look for, especially on Western Digital Drives, is to look for uh, for markings on uh, PCB. Diodes usually are going to be marked as D and then the number. So D3, D4, usually for Western Digitals. Uh, Seagates, I don't know if they have markings or not, but also a good way to spot diodes uh, would be to look at how they actually look. They, usually it's a rectangular uh, black component with, uh, uh, with two uh, pads and uh, it's gonna have like a line on one of the on one of the um, on one of the sides. <laughs> uh, look out for that component, check them out, and test them because uh, there is a good chance if your drive is not spinning, that's the culprit of your problem. Hopefully, it's gonna save some of your drives. If you like this, hit like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.